action. Okay, uh, good day once again. Uh, this time, uh, our, the next part of our demonstration is where we were going to do the physical examination of the head, eyes, ears, nose, and throat. Okay? Now, uh, this system is quite long because it covers a lot of areas. So my suggestion is you follow the order of the uh, of H, E, and T so that you will be guided that you are not going to miss. So you start with the head and then the eyes, the ears, the nose, uh, the nose and sinuses, and then the mouth and throat, and finally the neck. So you follow that order para wala kang makalimutan. Okay? So we will start now with the head. Huh? So for the head, when we're going to examine the head of our patient, by the way, our patient is still Philip. So the head is, uh, it's normocephalic, the skull's normocephalic. It is in the midline, okay? And uh, it's oval in shape, okay? And then we check the, the hair. So the hair is black in color. It is well distributed. It is uh, smooth to, to touch, okay? There are no areas of... Uh, or any patterns of baldness. Then we check the scalp. We will separate it, the hair at different areas to expose the scalp. Okay, so the scalp is, uh, the scalp is, uh, there are no lesions, no masses, no, there are no seborrhea or dandruff, no parasites. Okay, no depressions, no nodules. So, and then we check for any tenderness. Okay, so there's no tenders, then the tenderness over the scalp. There are no depressions, no bulgings over the the scalp area. Okay, then we check the temporal pulsations, temporal artery pulsations. So the temporal arteries are not visible, but they are palpable. Okay. Okay, then we we will examine the face. So, so for the face, the, the skin is brown in color with some hyperpigmentation, some uh, uh, some nevi. So some are flat, some are raised. So they are macules and papules. Okay, macules flat, papules uh, raised lesion. Okay, uh, so there are some pimples. There's no. It is a uh, oval in shape. Uh, no abnormal fasci. No involuntary movements. Uh, it is symmetrical, so meaning it's uh, equal on both sides, and uh, there are no. Uh, deformities and no abnormal fasci. When you say abnormal fasci, uh, it's like a uh, it's it's like a mask. Uh, that when you look at a certain fasci, you know that that's uh, that there is a problem, a specific problem. Now, for example, moon fasci for patients who have uh, uh, you, that have a uh, you call that pushing syndrome. You also have uh, lionin fasci in patients with. Uh, with leprosy, okay. So, so when you say there's an abnormal fasci, there is a uh, you, there, there is a peculiar mask for that certain disease, okay. Okay. So, so that, so 